noise, vibration, and harshness, or NVH, is a well-known term that is used in many industries to describe how a product is behaving from a sound and vibration perspective. More specifically, the automotive industry uses NVH to test each vehicle in various subsystems, ensuring that the vehicle is suitable for customers. Noise and vibration are measurable and can be used to improve components to create a smoother and quieter ride for the customer. Harshness is a subjective measure of how the customer views a ride in a vehicle or the perception of noise from a product, such as a lawnmower, kitchen blender, pneumatic tools, or an air conditioning unit. In a vehicle, both interior noise, such as noise from inside the cabin, and exterior noise, which can be radiated from the environment, are of simultaneous interest. Audible sounds generated from a product are from 20 to 20,000 Hz, while vibrational effects occur at the lower frequencies up to 250 Hz. Every object produces its own sound at specific acoustic frequencies due to its speed, kinematics, and design. Sound is also subjective, and people may interpret a particular sound differently. The roar of an engine might be pleasant to one person, but a nuisance to others. Likewise, design should investigate pleasant and unpleasant sounds. Noise and vibration measurements, along with frequency analysis, help product engineers in identifying issues in vehicles and products. For example, the rattling of a loose muffler can be observed, measured, and corrected. Significant engineering efforts are required to design and produce quieter products. Sound is a perturbation in pressure around the mean ambient conditions that is detected by a human ear. Sound pressure fluctuations may be decomposed into amplitudes versus frequencies. If the speed of sound and frequency is known, the wavelength can be determined. The wavelength is the distance between the maximum peaks of pressure for a sinusoidal wave. The longer the wavelength, the lower the frequency. Human beings hear sounds over a range of frequencies and amplitudes, and therefore, logarithmic scales are needed. Typically, sound pressure amplitudes are converted to the decibel scale while employing the threshold of hearing as a reference value. Minimizing sound is essential because high intense sounds may cause pain and hearing loss. Also, persistent sounds cause annoyance. Sound is also an information carrier, which means that humans may use the information carried by sound to judge a product. For instance, vehicle NVH may be used by a consumer to make a purchasing decision. A common example is the door slamming, which conveys information regarding the quality of materials and assembly. Manufacturing plants are often noisy as they contain heavy machinery, such as hydraulic presses, electric motors, lathes, internal combustion engines, generators, forklifts, pneumatic tools, and miscellaneous equipment. Humans should be protected in severe noise environments by using hearing protectors, moving away from the noisy machines, selecting less noisy products, or treating the interiors with acoustic absorption or barriers. The first step in addressing such problems would be to create a source path receiver network for dominant sources. The source is where the noise is generated, while the path refers to the ways the sound and vibration travel to get to the receiver. The receiver can be a human, a structural component, or electrical equipment, such as an amplifier or sensor.